All right, here we go with our homework 10.2, mole mass and mole volume relationships. So first, we're going to take a look at the mole mass relationship. All right, so something that we kind of started practicing in class is dealing with molar mass. And another worm for that is the Gram formula mass or GFM. And what that really is, is the number of grams per mole, or the number of grams in a given mole of a substance. So we'll usually say it grams per mole, and we can write grams per mole like this here, or like so. Okay, so let's uh, practice a couple of these. Let's do moles to mass. So if we have a question that first gives us a number of moles, so if you have 3.00 moles of sodium chloride, how many grams? So the first thing we have to think of is sodium chloride. What is it? All right, so it's N-A-C-L. And N-A has a charge of plus one. Cl has a charge of minus one. So when we crisscross, we end up with one Na and one Cl. So just NaCl. All right, so if we say sodium has a mass of 22.98977, right off the reference table, 22.9. 8977 and chlorine has a mass of 35.453 35.453 we add them up and we're going to get 58.44277 44277 which works out to be by the time we take significant figures into account we're allowed 3 after the decimal so it's 58.443 grams per mole. Okay, since sodium was 22.9 and this, 30 chlorine was 35 and change, they add up to 58.443 grams per mole. Okay, so now we can get to the question. We have three moles sodium chloride. And we have to figure out how many grams that is. So we're going to do what you want over what you got. Grams over mole. And we have 58.443 grams per mole. So we say 58.443 grams per mole. And it's all NaCl. So moles cancel. And we end up with 3 times 584 Three, and that's actually 3.00, so we have our significant figures. And we get 175.329. 175.329. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sig figs. 1, 2, 3 sig figs, so we're multiplying. So we have to go with whatever has the least number of significant figures, and that was 3. So what we really get is 175. Grams. So three moles of sodium chloride has 175 grams. <clears throat> okay, we can also go the other way. We can go from mass to moles. So what if we have to do 92.2 grams of iron 3 oxide? Okay, so iron 3 oxide. So we have to say... F E O and this is plus three because the three tells us it's iron plus three. Oxygen's gonna be minus two, so we end up with F E two O three. So we're gonna have two F E's and three oxygens. Alright, so iron has a mass, if you look on the reference table, of fifty-five point eight four five, but we need two of them. So times 2, and that's going to give us 111.69, 111.69. All right, oxygen is 15.9994 times 3, 
and that's going to give us 47.9982 47.9982 all right now we just add these up and we get 159.69 grams per mole and that's after we took into account they were allowed two significant figures all right let's see now we're ready to figure this out so we have 92.2 grams like the question says is going to give us a certain number of mole so we do what you want which is moles over what we got which is grams Getting a little crowded in here so now it's 159.69 grams per mole so we write it on the bottom here 159.69 grams per one mole our grams will cancel and we'll be left with moles so we end up with 92.9 divided by 159.69 which is going to give us something along the lines of 0 0.577368 blah 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 we're allowed one two three significant figures so we end up with 0 0.577 moles. Okay, next. The mole volume relationship. At STP, and STP is standard temperature pressure, one mole of any gas, no matter what kind of gas it is, occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. All right, so STP, standard temperature pressure, just means that it's at zero degrees Celsius, which is 273 Kelvins, and one atmosphere. That's standard temperature and pressure. Uh, in a couple of chapters, we're going to do stuff with gas laws, and we're going to look at what happens when we heat up gases or apply pressure, you know, more or less pressure. But if we're not doing that, pretty much all the problems are going to be at STP. All right, so for any gas, our conversion factor is going to be 22.4 liters per mole. You need to add this to your list of things to memorize. Okay, any gas, 22.4 liters per mole. All right, so let's try something here. What is the volume of 0 0.600 moles of CO2? So we say 0 0.600 moles of CO2 what is the volume so we're going to do the volume is in liters okay so we have 0 0.600 moles we want liters so we do what you want over what you got liters per mole 22.4 liters per one mole so it's 22.4 liters per one mole moles cancel and we end up doing 0 0.600 times 22.4 and we end up with 13.44 now what we're allowed three significant figures so 13.4 liters all right let's do another one how many moles in 10.0 liters SO2. So we have liters, we want to figure out how many moles. So what you want, moles over what you got, liters, and it's 22.4 liters per one mole. And we end up doing, right, our liters cancel, 10 divided by 22.4, which after we consider significant figures is 0 0.446. Now, we can also do molar mass from density, all right? If you remember, it's in your reference table, D equals M over V, okay? So the mass of something is equal to the density times the volume of something. So let's say the density of a gaseous compound is 
1.964 grams per liter at STP. What is the molar mass? So now it gets a little trickier. 1.964 grams per liter. Okay, and we want at the end here grams per mole. All right. So now we want to get rid of liters. So we put liters up here. But we want to get moles on the bottom. So if we multiply grams over liters times liters per mole, these liters will cancel and we end up with grams on the top and moles on the bottom. All right, so we say 22.4 liters per one mole. And we get 1.964 times 22.4. Plug that into the handy dandy calculator. 1.964 times 22.4 equals 43.9936. 1, 2, 3, 4 significant figures. 1, 2, 3. So we're allowed 3 in our answer. So we'd say 43 point, well, this 9 tells us to become a 10, so 0, carry the 1, and we end up with 44.0 grams per mole. So the molar mass of this gas is going to be 44.0 grams per mole. All right, we're going to be obviously practicing a lot more of these in class. So one more thing to show you. I like to do the what you want over what you got method, but a lot of people like this mole roadmap because everything goes through moles. So if you have the volume of gas and you need to convert that to moles, you multiply it by one mole over 22 point. 22.4 liters. If you have moles and you want to get the volume of a gas, you multiply that by 22.4 liters over one mole. So basically from volume to moles, you're going to divide by 24. From moles to volume, you're going to multiply by 24. To go from mole to particles, you're going to multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. To go from particles to moles, you're going to divide by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. To go from moles to molar to, I'm sorry, to go from moles to mass, you're going to multiply by the molar mass per mole, right? Remember the GFM, the gram formula mass. To go from mass to moles, you're going to divide by that gram formula mass. So, uh, like I've said, I really prefer to uh, use the what you want over what you got method. This way I don't have to memorize when I'm multiplying or dividing. But... If you'd like, you can start utilizing this method using the mole roadmap. All right, as always, if there's something you don't get, make sure you write down your questions, and you can always rewind and watch through these, especially the calculations again. All right, see you guys in school.